So in this episode, we are going to be heading to Seattle, exploring Seattle a little bit, getting on our cruise ship, which is the NCL Encore, and then the first day at sea. And by the way, we are heading to Alaska. Can't wait to show you guys. We are Emma and Jack Lindsay. Together with our daughter, we love to travel and experience different places. How we get there and what we do is always different. Life is too short, so get out and live a little. We are in the airport and we are going to Seattle for our cruise to Alaska. I am nervous because we left our daughter. I'm kind of sad. It's okay, we already had one drink. <laughs> but I'm excited. You ready to go? Yep. Let's go. We made it to Seattle. For one night. For one night and then cruise. I forgot all of my toiletries and Jack made a reservation for next weekend, not this weekend. So we're off to a great start, but we're gonna have fun. Mine didn't cost us an extra hundred dollars. <laughs> so, can't wait to show you around what we do. So if you're heading to Seattle, you have to go to Pike's Place and the public market. It's just an iconic location. Um, this right here is where you'll see the guys throwing the fish across, like big humongous fish. It's definitely something to see. And it's just really nice to walk around and explore all the little shops and everything that they have there. This is the original Starbucks right outside of Pikes Peak. There's always a massive line. Same exact coffee as if you go anywhere else. But it is fun to say you've been to the original. You gotta come? It's a video. No. <laughs> no. You wanna touch it? Nope. You wanna eat it? Definitely not. <laughs> we are in, what is it called, the alley? I am not Elf. Post alley, post alley, yeah. Elf is the best movie ever. All right. <laughs> That is all gum. Ah, it looks like my blue bubbles and got it on. Then we headed over to Jar Bar for an early dinner slash snack. It was a really cute, small place. Great for just like little snacks before dinner or you're just not too hungry from a day of travel or you had a big lunch. Um, but I would definitely suggest it. Super cute, great food. This place actually used to be a storage room and it's very conveniently located to Pike's Place. It's kind of just, if you take the stairs all the way down, you'll run into it. The food was fantastic and the cocktails were great and the service was amazing. Next, we headed straight across the street to Seattle Beer Company. They had good beers. Um, I got the Raspberry Sour, Blood Orange Wheat Beer, and a Nitro Stout. Jack ended up getting a hazy IPA. He said it was bitter but good and strong on the orange and grapefruit flavors. Then after that, we decided to head back to our hotel and we actually went up to the rooftop, which is called the Fog Room. It's part of the Hilton. Um, it had really great views of the city and it had some really good cocktails. They had a whole bunch of seats inside and outside. It was a really, really cute designed rooftop bar. We did get a little hungry, so we ordered some french fries. It was massive, but they were really good. That's good, I like that. <laughs> it's cruise day! And it's raining. It is raining, but it was nice yesterday, which is probably... Weird for Seattle. Yeah, yeah. But it's cruise day, and uh, we are hopping on the Norwegian Encore. Encore. And, and we check in in an hour and a half. Woohoo! So we splurged on this trip, and we are going to do the Haven, which is like the fancy area that. Do they call it the ship within the ship? Yeah, the ship within the ship. So that should be fun. We'll show you around that. A little different. You have to be in the Haven to access all the Haven amenities and dining and everything so we are very excited we'll show you when we're getting on or ready we're heading to the boat or whatever <laughs> yay see ya 
I need caffeine. Let's we went to more coffee. It was right by our hotel. I had got a really cute drink. Apparently I can't take the picture of it correctly, but it was a Mexican hot chocolate and Jack got a shot of espresso. That's so good. <laughs> There's like a hot chocolate, Mexican hot chocolate, but it has caffeine, which is very helpful right now. <laughs> then we made our way over to the ship. We were on the Norwegian Encore heading to Alaska. I am excited. So we were waiting outside first, and then if you are in the Haven, you get sent to this other like lounge room with some snacks prior to boarding. Um, the snacks were fine. It did get a little crowded in the area that'd be my only complaint about it but i know at all ports they get crowded we're there's our ship she's the big one. Oh, almost fell there just don't pay attention to that part you ready emma mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're almost there then they escort you up to the haven and just go over a few little things and they have some snacks and everything before you're free to roam the rest of the ship. And by the way, the snacks in there are way better than the snacks in the pre-lounge area. And then obviously we stopped at the bar. We are going to eat at the American Diner because it's free for us today. So yeah. it's a specialty place, but it's diner food and free. But diners are the best, so I'm excited. But I don't know if it's gonna be a Jersey Diner. But know. it's still good. It's still a diner. So it was Part of the Haven for lunch, you have access either to the Haven dining room for lunch or you can do the American Diner, which the American Diner you usually have to pay for. So we picked for that one since we can do the Haven any other day for lunch. And just to be clear, this option was for only the first day when you get on the ship. Otherwise, the diner costs money any other day for lunch. We started with the lobster and shrimp roll appetizer. It was fantastic. And honestly, it could be a lunch if you weren't super hungry. And one thing that we didn't realize about the diner was that it's actually open to like the outside deck. Uh, so at first we thought it'd be pretty cold, but they turn on heaters and it actually is very comfortable. Then I got the seafood basket. It was all fried. It wasn't bad. It wasn't greasy at all. And fried scallops was different. And then Jack got the burger. He said it was a good burger for a cruise ship. So we just finished up at the diner and I thought it was really good. It was good. Yeah, I liked it. It was either that or the Haven that we picked this. And I thought it was the, the shrimp and lobster uh, roll thing, that was, that was really good. We may have to go back and get that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then we just walked around and explored a little. So here's some clips of just what some of the ship looks like. Day one of a cruise, I always kind of like to explore a little and figure out where everything is. So it just makes the rest of the week go by a little easier. So you're not trying to figure out where the heck are we going. This is Coco's. It is a specialty dining. Everything in here is extra money, but they got a lot of good chocolate treats. Just outside the observation lounge is a fun little model of the Encore. The observation lounge is available to everybody on the ship. This is a really great place to come, if, especially if you're going to Alaska to see the glaciers and everything else. They also have snacks, which is always a good thing on a cruise. And it's just a really nice layout with a lot of different seating options throughout the whole area. And there's also a bar in the front. Then we headed over to the craft beer place. It was the district brew pub. Um, they had a lot of great beer options, really cute layout. And it was just a nice... Nice different thing. It didn't feel like you were on a cruise. Definitely feels more like you're at a bar on land. At least until you look out the windows and there's water all around you and gorgeous views. Then we headed over to the mojito bar to check it out. They serve a bunch of different specialty mojitos. The last libations area that we checked out was the wine bar and it was really nice. And they have these black glasses where you can do like a tasting that you it's a mystery on what you're having. They even have a full Starbucks on the boat where you can get all your typical Starbucks treats. I'm going to the spa now to get a little massage. So, can't wait for that. That should be nice and relaxing. Yay! Whew, that may have been the best massage I've had in a very, very long time. That was fantastic. We are going to head to the Haven for dinner tonight. I'm excited to try it out. 
and see if it lives up to the height, but if it's good. Yeah, it's a good night too. Yeah, it, really it turned pretty, out to be really pretty. Long Vancouver Island right now. Yeah, so hopefully we get a window seat. Yes. That'd be nice. Okay, see you there. The Haven area has a very relaxed upscale vibe to it. But don't feel pressured to have to dress up every single time you go in there. We've gone in, people have had on just t-shirts and jeans and definitely don't have to be fancy if you don't want to. And the menu is the same every night in here. I started off with the lobster devil eggs. They were very tasty. And then Jack got the green goddess salad, which he obviously liked since he got it most nights of the cruise. Next, I had the beets. They were delicious, very light and flavorful and good salt balance with the goat cheese and bacon. Then I got the crab cakes. They were good. They were a little wet inside. They weren't bad. I've had better, but they're still tasty. Jack got the trout. He said it was really good, and the lentils were very tasty on the side. And then we ended the night at The Social, which is the comedy club, and we saw a comedian. He was hilarious. And after that, we were way too tired, so we didn't film anymore, so let's skip to the next morning. The next morning, Jack did get up and work out. Not my cup of tea, but he did see some whales while he was running on the treadmill. I instead had a nice cup of coffee in the room and watched a movie while he worked out. <laughs> now breakfast time. For some reason in the Haven, we always got the best seats right by the window. And for breakfast, they do have a little buffet area set up that you can grab in addition to the menu. For the first morning, I did do the avocado toast. It was delicious. And then Jack did do the shrimp toast, which was so good. I may have gotten this almost every other morning. Um, definitely recommend it. Are you ready for day two? Yes. What do we have planned today? We, we just doing... had breakfast and that was delicious in the Haven. We are going to... And I had way too much caffeine. An art history lecture. A go-karts track. That'll be fun. The art auction, You'll which probably we beat do. me, but that'll be fun. Yes, definitely going to beat you. The art auction, which we always do. We are doing a blind wine tasting. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. With macaroons. That'll be and yummy. And seeing the Choir of Man tonight. Oh, I'm excited for Choir of Man as well. Should be a good at sea day. And then tomorrow we are in Juno, so can't wait to show you that and everything we do today that we can film. Oh. It should be a fun day. <laughs> and yeah. Should be good. See you later. Bye. As we were heading to one of our activities, they had this cute display of how they make some of the uh, fruit displays in the buffet area. So right before the go-karts, we went to check out the laser tag area. <laughs> there is a laser tag back here, which is great for kids or any adults that are kids at heart. You point your gun at things and 3D things pop up and... It's huge. It's very big. Now there's Jack in it for size reference. Let's go do go-karts. I'm excited. Yay! We just did the go-karts. Those are fun. That was fun. It was what? 50? dollars I think? 15 bucks a person. For a person? Eight you get eight minutes. I made it around seven too. times. Jack passed me once so he probably got around eight times. Um, I only got a one wreck. Well that was at the end because everybody else has stopped. Yours didn't. <laughs> yeah everybody else's thing stopped and Jack's just kept going and so you didn't have enough time to stop. You got a bump for the girl in front of you. But <laughs> Full speed. It was fun. Those things go pretty fast. Yeah, I was pretty impressed with the speed. And, and they're, it's got the, they're electric. I think the weird thing is, it has the smell of like burning rubber, like a, oh, like it a does? race track does. I it's can't so smell. Old. Not due to COVID, that's just how I am. <laughs> um, oh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. And then it's electric, but then the noise, it makes like the noise, even though it's electric and it doesn't actually make noise. Yep. So that was fun. I would do that again. Yeah, I only passed Emma on the first turn. <laughs> I mean, are we surprised here? <laughs> it was a little cold out there, but it was a lot of fun. That was cool. I, I enjoyed that. Be. Yeah. Hopefully we'll go up and get a little footage of other people going around so you can kind of get an idea for it. But 
It was fun. I liked that one. Yep. Yeah. Yay! The boat is rocking so much today. I don't know if you could hear it, but it's like... It's all like cracking and creaking and... We're definitely rocking. But hey, it's Alaska. I feel like you gotta expect a little bit of rocking. After the go-karts, we decided to check out the Garden Cafe, which is the buffet, for lunch. So we're at the Garden Cafe. What'd you get for lunch, Jack? I got lemon, butter, mahi-mahi, plantains, rice and peas, and a salad. That's good. What'd you get? I basically got a bunch of Indian food, because the Indian food is always good on... As always. <laughs> This is chicken, like basically chicken tikka masala, not so sure, mint, um, sauce, naan, and pompadon. So. You just finished eating, how was it? The plantains were overcooked, the fish was overcooked. The salad was good. <laughs> the salad wasn't overcooked. <laughs> the rice and peas was good. <laughs> that was really good. The Indian food's always my favorite. I mean, the majority of the chefs are Indian, so they're making the food that they know. That was tasty. That hit the spot. Who are rocking. <laughs> <laughs> so we are all dressed up. We have a meet the captain in the Haven, and then we have dinner at Ocean, Ocean Blue. Ocean Blue, that's the name. It's and we like are bouncing today. Dinner's at the seafood place, and then we have choir man at night after that. Yes. I'm excited for that one. That should be fun. That should be a lot of fun. So. You ready? Let's go. I'm still, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I need another coffee or something. Okay, let's go have fun. Then we headed over to the captain's meet and greet, and they had a bunch of great cocktails that they served. And then off to Ocean Blue for dinner. So if you get the dining package, you can get a, an appetizer, soup salad, and then one entree from either the land, seafood specialties, or simply fresh, and then you can also get two sides. It's a lot of food. We started off with bread. According to Jack, it was bread. He said it wasn't bad. It had dairy in it, so I didn't have any. Then I got the tuna. It was good. The sauce definitely made it, and the avocado was super fresh, but I have had better grade tuna before. Jack got the shrimp cocktail. He said it was good giant shrimp. And then I decided to try the gumbo. Mm -hmm. I better gumbo. There's not much flavor to it. I feel like gumbo should have a lot of spice and kick and it just kind of just tastes like a thick soup with not a lot of flavor. Okay, I'm gonna have Jack try the gumbo. What do you think? Tastes like the gravy you put on Thanksgiving mashed potatoes. Yeah, probably that's a pretty good example. Is if you can get an andouille sausage, try that, because that has kick. Let me try like a full bite. Yeah, like the sausage has kick to it, but the rest not so much. Nope. <laughs> okay, well I thought it did, but Jack and Tyler had a lot of spice. But there was also like maybe two or three pieces of andouille sausage actually in there. <laughs> That's not gonna do much. I went with the red salad with Italian dressing instead of blue cheese dressing. And then Jack got the bronzino. He said it was fresh and flaky and cooked perfectly, as well as some sides. Jack, how's your bronzino? It's good. It's not overcooked. And what kind of sauce did you pick? Chimichurri. And then I got the fish stew. It was kind of in like a tomato broth soup. 
with a whole bunch of different fish in it. It was really good. There was huge scallops and really large chunks of lobster. Key lime pie. It's got a nice meringue on it. That's good. That's really key limey and tart. Mm. That's tasty. I can't get the crust, but Emma is the key lime tart. Key limey and tart. Yes, it is. Good descriptors. <laughs> It's it's not super sweet. I like when a key lime pie is like really really tart. It's good. And then as we were finishing up dinner, rainbow. Yeah, there's no product called a <laughs> Then it was time to head to the theater. We were gonna see Choir of Man tonight, and here is the theater. Just for reference, we got there early, so we got front row seats. I thought the set design for this was fantastic. It really, truly looked like a pub. They're handing out beer. <laughs> it's Miller Lane, so you mm -hmm. No, Heineken. That was really good. I didn't have very high expectations. We've gone to a lot of like actual Broadway shows and seen a lot of plays and that was that was really really good. It was all music that you've you know you can Except sing for along. One song. Yeah there's only one that I didn't know um, but it was all really 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 good. It's again tomorrow night with Night Try and get go and see it. Yep. We're technically still at part port in Juno when it's happening, but if we're kind of seeing all we need to in Juno, I definitely think we're gonna go back because that was really good. That was really, really good. Definitely probably the best thing I've seen at sea, 100%. Yes, I would agree with that. Yeah, definitely the best thing I've ever seen at sea. That was good. If you are on any Norwegian and Choir of Man is playing, definitely, definitely, definitely go see it. <laughs> It's a little bit 30 now, so I think it's time for bed. <laughs> okay. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode on our Alaskan voyage with uh, Seattle and the first day at sea. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like. And stay tuned for next week because we are headed to Juneau, Alaska. Can't wait to show you guys all of that. Till next time, get out and live a little. Bye. Thank you.